Creating a planning timeline is a good idea when beginning a job. The timeline helps to determine the number of trucks needed, when materials will arrive, be used, and hauled away. The timeline will work as a plan to help assure a successful project. This also helps to stay on schedule and original estimate to ensure profitability. If possible, the tear out of the asphalt driveway and concrete sidewalk should be completed first and piled at the end of the driveway, not the street. Check with the trucking company beforehand to see if the concrete and asphalt should be piled separately or if they can be combined. To eliminate downtime, schedule the first hauling away of material close to the estimated completion of the tear out. The same area at the end of the driveway will be used to pile the soil and gravel when excavation begins. The total amount of asphalt and concrete to be torn out will dictate the number of trucks or loads. If there is only one truck assigned and there is more than one load, take into consideration how long it will take the truck to return to the job site. If the project is large and the dump site is far away, more than one truck will be required. You should start the excavation near the house and work towards the street. If possible, the soil and gravel should be piled at the end of the driveway instead of the street. There will be more soil and gravel to be removed than asphalt and concrete so more than one truck may be required. After calculating the amount of material to be removed, you can either request the number of trucks to be assigned to your project or ask the trucking company for their recommendations. Everything is dependent on the size of the excavation equipment, the type of soil, the amount of material, and the distance to the landfill site. Typically, a fully loaded triaxle dump truck can deliver 18 tons of base and an end dump can deliver 25 tons. Depending on local road weight restrictions, including seasonal road limits, this amount may be less. Based on the capabilities of the loader being used, the amount of material to be placed, the size of the compaction equipment, and the distance from the quarry, more than one truck may be needed to deliver base material to the job site. Have enough material at the job site to be able to keep filling, grading, and compacting, but not too much, since it will typically be staged in the street. If more than one truck is assigned and the material is being delivered too quickly, let the drivers or dispatch at the quarry know and they can adjust the delivery times. Sand should be delivered upon completion of the base material since it won't be needed until that time. Always make sure you have city approval to stage material in the street. The paver should be delivered the afternoon before or the morning of the planned installation. Always check with the city to see if pallets may be staged in the street or if they must be placed on the property. Position the pavers so they can be moved as needed during the project. It is preferred that materials are staged on the street, but if you are unable to, Stage them next to the curb so you're still able to use a paver cart or loader to move them closer to the actual construction. Be sure to track the amount of all the materials actually used on the job and compare it to the original estimate. This will give you an idea if you will need to adjust future estimates.